In this video, I will show you several things. Uh, I will show you uh, how to recycle electric energy by reusing the back EMF. I'll show you how to make a bifilar coil resonant in two different ways. The electric energy is first used to create a magnetic field. And this magnetic field, the change of the magnetic field, induces resonance in the parallel coil that's inside of this field. Then the magnetic energy that is stored in the magnetic field is collapsing again because we interrupt the current by a MOSFET. We open the switch. The magnetic field then produces a dielectric field, a back EMF spike. And this voltage is stored into a capacitor. And by storing this voltage into a capacitor, we can reuse the energy that firstly was used to create a magnetic field. We can reuse the electric energy that now is stored in the dielectric field of the capacitor by discharging the capacitor into the coil. This is my uh, function generator. It makes a square wave at the resonant frequency of one of these coils or both. And this probe is connected to this resonant coil. Uh, the other side is grounded. And um, the other probe is connected to the center coil of this stack of three bifilar coils. And it's also going to be resonant. The main current is going to be into the first coil, the first bifilic coil. Now, what does this all together do? So I've got a signal, a square wave signal that comes in from this gray thing into this gate driver chip. And it's driving this MOSFET and what this MOSFET does is opening and closing uh, the coil to ground. And the coil is connected to the external power supply. And the reason that I'm doing this is to make uh, the pulses so the center coil becomes resonant. And that's, a, that's, that's what I've been doing all the time. But then I notice something. I noticed that when I'm switching the coil on and off, um, I get back EMF. Spikes of high voltage, uh, and normally I wasted it. I just burned it away with a, a, a diode, as has been taught in many uh, electronic uh, lectures. But that's not really efficient, of course. There's a lot of energy, and Steinmetz already explained it uh, the, the magnetic field, when it collapses, when the MOSFET is turned off, it transforms back into a dielectric field. So what I am doing now here in this, this circuit is when the MOSFET turns off and the magnetic field of the first coil collapses, it produces a back EMF and I am now collecting the back EMF via a very fast diode into my first capacitor, 10 nanofarads in this case. And then it's stored and I can reuse it whenever I want. Now, that's where the other chip comes in. Uh, I'm making a signal with the other processors that is opening the second MOSFET very fast it's opening and closing very fast, much faster than the square wave that is provided. What this fast opening MOSFET does is it uh, shortcuts the, the capacitor that is charged with the back EMF via the coil, the resonant coil, into the ground. So this high voltage charged uh, a capacitor is connected to ground, but only temporarily. 
and it's connected to ground via the uh, bifolar Tesla coil. Now you see here a second capacitor and that is the tuning capacitor for this coil because uh, this coil by itself without a capacitor parallel to it is uh, resonant at a very high frequency and I need to, it to be lower so I also used a 10 nanofarad uh, capacitor. So I've got two capacitors of equal value. They are both 10 nanofarads. This one is in parallel with this coil to tune down the resonant frequency. What this in all together does and, and show, and what I find very interesting, is that you can use uh, a current and make a coil resonant, but then you can reuse the back EMF and store it in a capacitor and use that same back EMF energy to again make a coil resonant when the back EMF is a positive voltage the discharge from this system should be at the maximum voltage of the resonant coil so you've got two ways of making the coils resonant one is by the magnetic field by magnetic induction and the other one is by discharging the the uh, the voltage of the capacitor into the coil and creating a current spike so one is by the magnetic field and one is by the dielectric field and it's recycling the energy because it's all from the same source and that's really interesting I think you can recycle electric energy you can build up a magnetic field and when the magnetic field collapses it transforms back to a dielectric field you can store it into a capacitor and reuse it to again make a coil resonant I'll now show you the oscilloscope uh, with the sine waves uh, we've got two traces from the two probes I'll put the system on and you can see uh, both are resonant right this sine wave isn't perfect because I tuned it down with a lot of capacitance and it's a little bit below its capabilities but it shows the resonant sine wave and the other probe also shows the resonant sine wave and I don't know if you can see it right but here's a small glitch on top of the peak of the sine wave and that is the point where the capacitor is discharged very shortly into the resonant coil. So now I've got both coils resonant and the first coil is resonant from the magnetic field of the square wave pulses and these square wave pulses also produce a back EMF and this back EMF is recycled and used to bring the second coil into its resonance. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more, check out my other videos about the bifilar coil and about Charles Proteus Steinmetz, his explanation of what electricity really is. If you want to make a donation, that would be very much appreciated. Look in the description, there's a link to the PayPal. If you want to be notified for my next video, please subscribe.